Hello guys, meow meow, Maldroid here, and um, I'll be uh, walking um, with, on the park with with you on uh, installing a custom recovery on the Galaxy S4. Oh, boom! Here it is. Now the uh, uh, our first order of business will be uh, to turn off the device, not like that, like this, using the uh, power off function, and um, there we go, power off with this lovely Samsung thing. Now you're going to hold the uh, power button, volume down, and home button until you see the uh, recovery option. Here it says a warning, customers can cause critical problems. Now we just want to hit volume up to continue. Beep. Alright, now we see this little green android. It says downloading, do not turn off target, which means the phone. Now we want to bring you up to our computer over here. Of course, with our most high quality transition we could possibly find. Now we will need to download this file with all links provided in the more info box down below. We're going to download this. We'll click on it. And we're going to press the uh, black or grey download button. Click. I just want to save it as. Well, save as a file. Now this will download pretty quickly. As you can see, it's pretty much done. And now, pretty exquisites. Hooray! You will need the Samsung USB drivers already installed, and of course Odin 3. Now after the uh, file has been downloaded successfully, now we want to go to uh, connect the uh, phone to the USB port pluggy thing. There we go. And now we are going to open up Odin, the folder, and we're going to right click Odin and run as an admin. Click yes on the user account control pop up. And now we would need to click on the PDA button. Now navigate to where we have uh, downloaded the f uh, recovery file. At this point, your computer may be installing these drivers for the uh, download mode of your phone. To check this, go to your superbar or taskbar and click on click on the little driver spinny um, green dot, and you see the dialog pop up. Now, as you can see on the Odin screen, we have our COM3 port just um, enabled just then. This means the uh, driver installation has almost been finished. Well now we're ready to use. Now we can just uh, close that dialog and check that we have checked the uh, PDA thing there, select the right file and make sure the options are left as they are. And also check that your device has been connected to the COM ports. Now I'm just going to set this phone aside. Ah, there we go. Marvelous. Now with all those things checked, press the start button. Now this will flash the recovery image to your phone. Uh, voila! Now the phone should boot back up like this. I'm just going to put that down for a moment and put the camera back in its cradle. Kaplonk! Beautiful. Now as our Samsung things chime, we will pull the plug out and we'll wait for the uh, phone to boot back up. Now that we're back, we're going to have a quick app update. We have our special app of the week, I guess. It's called Quick Boot, which allows you to boot into, I believe, four different um, like parts of a reboot kind of thing. Just the normal reboot, or reboot to recovery, the bootloader, or just turn off your phone. And so, uh, on most custom ROMs, I believe, if you hit restart, you are presented with three different options, to different modes, of course. Let's go ahead to install this. I uh, this uh, from what I've known, this does require root access, though it doesn't say that. And we're just going to uh, we're going to re uh, reboot into the recovery. We have our super user request. We're going to grant that, and we'll just wait a few seconds for this to turn off. There we go. Now, as our phone uh, turns on again, we see this little blue uh, text saying uh, "recovery booting." And we'll just wait here for a second. Now that our custom recovery has finished booting up with this lovely interface, we have uh, obviously now successfully installed Phil's uh, recovery for the Galaxy S4. Now, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave um, I don't know, some likes, you know. It's only one click, really, 
subscribe if you'd like to see more of these fancy fancy videos and um oh, please comment because if 100 people watch it and they don't say anything about it it's kind of awkward isn't it? it makes me feel like no one wants to talk to me it's very sad you know it hurts me so if you don't want to hurt me come on leave a comment leave a like anything will do well catch you guys next time see ya